We've got the shaky head with the magic worm. That's right, it's magic. It works great on a bunch of different techniques. Of course, drop shotting, wacky rig, Neko rig, Nico rig, however you want to say it, works well there too. But I love fishing the magic worm on a shaky head. I'm going to show you my setup and kind of my system, what I use uh, for the shaky head. It's a little bit different than what some people use. When I'm fishing eighth ounce or under, that means eighth ounce, 332nd, or a 16th ounce. Uh, I really like those lighter shaky heads around the post spawn period or highly pressured. It's a little bit slower fall, catch a lot more fish. I use the Gamakatsu Tricky Head designed by Shen Fukai. Love that, love that jig head. Fits perfectly, as you can see, on the Magic Worm. That's June Bug Dream right there. Uh, I've caught some fish in some filming that we've done earlier today uh, on this setup right here. A very good dependable way to catch fish if i'm going to be fishing that that shaky head from about an eighth ounce and above three sixteenths or a quarter ounce i'm going to be using the missile baits warlock head it's a spring lock uh, but that unique design comes through cover amazing most shaky heads when you get them around brush they really suck they are terrible around brush uh, but the, the warlock comes through brush and rock very very well so uh, make sure that you're using that if you're around the heavier cover and getting hung up with regular round ball shaky heads and of course it's got a gamagatsu hook in it as well just like the, the tricky head on that on that shaky head I'm gonna probably use green pumpkin money June bug dream and then in the summertime I'll probably switch up to John's juice just to give you some starters there in the earlier spring uh, I was actually on Smith Mountain Lake earlier this spring, pre-spawn period, and we were catching them on Lava Crusher. It has a orange bottom. It's kind of a red hue to the bait, uh, but an orange bottom, great pre-spawn color. Uh, we were using that with a shaky head, catching uh, a lot of keepers actually out there. And then from the, from the line moving up, I usually throw it on eight pound Sunline Sniper. That is very sensitive line. You can use the Marabushi as well. I would use eight or 10. Eight probably is what I would go to. You just have better feel and better control of the bait. Have about a 20 foot liter FG knot into Siglon PE8 16 pound test. That 16 pound test is very small diameter braid. It is very, very supple. It casts a country mile. Fishing a shaky head, making long casts can be very important, but you still need a line that's supple and it's strong enough. So that's why I, I bump up to the 16 pound. It is a similar diameter than the X-Plasma 12. So it's a comparable diameter. That's a lot of what I look at. As far as the reels go, 3000 size Daiwa Tatula reel. And then a Cashin Icon seven foot, three inch medium action rod. Uh, it is, to me, that's just perfect for a shaky head. You've got about 70% backbone, about 30% tip. Uh, that is a great action for a shaky head. Caught a lot of fish with this with this rod and this setup right here, uh, and it is just a perfect match for the shaky head. I love that. The shaky head is, in some parts of the country, it's, it's like forgotten about. People don't throw it, but man, don't sleep on that shaky head in those areas where they don't throw it. You can really, really catch a lot of fish right behind everybody else.